let's look at the forms of returns. Yeah, forms of returns of income. There are mainly two forms, two categories of forms. We have the provisional returns and then the final returns. Yeah, so we shall start with the first one, which is provisional returns. And any person who derives or expects to derive any income during the year of income is required to file a provisional return. Provision, like you are just making a provision, you're providing for something, but it hasn't yet like occurred. Yeah. So any person who derives or expects to derive an income during the year of income is required to file a provisional return. However, one may be exempt from this obligation if the income to be earned will be subject to withholding tax at source under the following categories. So if income is earned from the following sources, one is not required to fail provisional returns. First is employment income under payee system. Then income in form of interest received by a resident person from a, a resident person. Uh, then dividend income received by a resident shareholder from a resident company. And lastly, rental income taxpayers. So those ones are not required to file the provisional returns of income. So on filing a provisional return, provisional tax becomes due for payment. So if you fail for provisional returns, you have to pay provisional tax. And provisional tax is an estimated tax for the year of income payable in advance before the year end. You will pay the tax that you assume that you're supposed to pay. Yeah, and provisional ta taxpayers include all persons who are required to fail final return of income and those required to fail a return of gross turnover. Yeah, a return of gross turnover we mean presumptive taxpayers. They are those persons who pay tax according to the return that they get and according to their allocation. Let's look at another form of returns, which is the final returns. And all taxpayers are required to furnish a return of income for each year of income of the taxpayer not later than six months after the end of the year of income. Yeah, note that the year of income includes even the substituted year of income. Yeah, so depending on the year of income that you are using, whether the normal one or the substituted one, you are supposed to file the final returns of income not later than six months after the year end. Yeah, the, return, the final return of income, it is that return that includes rental income. So a return of income shall be in the form prescribed by the commissioner and it shall state the information required and it shall be furnished in the manner prescribed by the commissioner. So everything it is a, everything is done according to the commissioner's interests. You will file it according to the way the commissioner wants you to file it and you will include what the commissioner wants you to include. A return of income shall be signed by the taxpayer and it shall include a declaration that the return is complete and accurate. However, where a taxpayer is legally incapac incapacitated, the taxpayer's return of income shall be signed and contain a declaration to completeness and accuracy by the taxpayer's legal representative. In case you have legal issues, you have issues with the law or you're in prison, yeah, your representative will sign for you and it will include the declaration to confirm that everything included there is complete and accurate. 